Hi, my name is Josh Lang. I'm a solution architect here at CrowdStrike, and I'm going to be explaining and demonstrating the Zscaler Threat Intel Sharing Integration. First, here's an introduction. The integration allows Zscaler to take advantage of CrowdStrike's threat intelligence. It pulls high-confidence, malicious URLs from the IOC database and then pushes them to Zscaler's platform in what's called a custom URL category. From there, Zscaler's platform can be configured to respond appropriately. What this does is it provides an extra layer of defense to the endpoint by detecting and blocking malicious activity at the network layer, so that behavior that corresponds with these IOCs can be terminated before they occur on the endpoint. Zscaler custom URL categories have to be properly configured prior to running the integration. A custom category titled CrowdStrike Malicious URLs hyphen high needs to be added. This is where the malicious URLs pulled from Falcon X can be found in Zscaler's interface. From there, administrators can associate policies with the category and implement criteria and actions of their choice. Here's a quick example of what that looks like. Consider this attempted phishing email that leads to liveupdate.com on port 80. The URL has been identified by CrowdStrike Intelligence as being malicious. We could see that by querying the Falcon X IOC database for this URL. What that'll do is it'll show us that this is a high confidence malicious URL associated with the deep panda actor. With our integration in place, the communications associated with that URL will be blocked by the network and never actually reach the endpoint itself. So to wrap up this explanation, CrowdStrike shares threat intel with the Zscaler platform, which in turn mitigates the threat at the network layer by proactively blocking malicious URLs. The result is a proactive approach to threat prevention in which pre-configured responses minimize any sort of impact on the environment. All right, now let's get on to the demonstration. The integration is hosted on GitHub. If you navigate to github.com slash CrowdStrike slash Zscaler dash Falcon X dash integration, you'll be able to find the integration hosted there. The readme is very complete and you'll be able to get started if you follow along. First thing you'll want to do is copy the cloning URL. And then in your terminal of choice or your IDE of choice, you can go ahead and clone that terminal. I'm sorry, you can clone that URL. Once that's ready, CD into the directory. You're gonna open config.py. Config.py has all the necessary variables you'll need to fill in to get this integration working properly. There's only five that are incomplete, so you just need to fill that in with your CrowdStrike API credentials and then your Zscaler API credentials. Once that's configured and your Zscaler URLs are properly configured, you'll actually be able to run the integration. It's really simple to run. All you have to do is type in Python main.py and that'll launch the main module and get the integration started. There's a lot of output so you can stay up to date with what's going on while the integration's running. You'll see first it's authenticating and then it's querying the, API, it's querying the APIs for new indicators and then storing them while it essentially collects a payload that waits until it reaches 10,000 and then posts those to your custom URL category in Zscaler. Let me show you what that looks like. In the Zscaler portal, if you navigate over to the URL categories, you'll see I have my CrowdStrike malicious URLs high. When I click that, sorry, over here, <laughs> when you click the pencil, you'll be able to open it up and see what's going on. So these are all URLs that have been collected from CrowdStrike's intelligence platform and have been pushed to this URL category via the integration. And that's pretty much it. The integration is very simple to download and run. You can stay up to date with any changes we make to the Zscaler Falcon X integration by following the GitHub repository. There could be some changes in the future as well as community driven development. So it's important for you to stay up to date with the most current version of the, of the uh, repository. If you're ever running into some strange issues or problems, make sure you check out the repository and maybe even open up a issue. And if you'd like to contribute yourself, you can go ahead and fork the repository and create pull requests. And that concludes the explanation and demonstration of the Zscaler CrowdStrike integration. Thanks for watching.